What is up guys? It's the real deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're we'll looking at Marowak. So Marowak is one of the strongest Pokemon in the game. Can absolutely just steamroll people. Uh, but there is issues. It is very heavily RNG based. You know, either you're gonna absolutely slap or you can just be absolute trash. Um, for me, I'm not the biggest Marowak fan. I'm gonna be straight up with you. Um, for me, I'd always rather have um, consistency over, you know, just coming down to luck almost. Uh, but this is probably the best version that I've seen or played with Marowak. So running Sand Slash and Marowak. Um, so what have we got in here? We've got two Sand Shrews, two Cubones, and then we've got Sand Slash. So what's great about Sand Slash is it's just two energy for 70 damage and we're reasonably tanky at 100 hp so yeah sand slash can get stuff done for us and then marowak you can get normal marowak or marowak rng uh rng <laughs> i'm obsessed with the rng guy uh marowak ex marowak ex hands down beats marowak just 140 hp super tanky and then we've got um again two energy for uh, up to well either we're going to do zero damage 80 or 160 that is pretty insane we can one shot Mewtwo that is how good Marowak is again does come down to RNG uh, then we're running two potions of standard We've got two pokeballs two uh, Professor Oaks you know Professor Oak and pokeballs they're always going to be in hand uh, we've only got one X speed which to be fair, they're pretty cheap to actually retreat, so don't need to heavily rely on XP too much. Red card, I'm a big fan of red card. I always try to put it in every deck that I run. If you see someone's running a deck where, you know, they need to evolve Pokemon, uh, but like, you know, three stages, uh, like Dragonite, Charizard, Venusaur, anything like that, you can completely throw a spanner in the works of red card, an absolute boss card. Giovanni just to help us do a little bit of extra damage and Sabrina she's great you know if there's sort of like a if they got one Pokemon on the bench and they're weak and you know you can just swap out the active Pokemon take them out and easily get that W but yeah Sabrina top tier um yeah so let's get some battles on and put Marowak to work and I will keep in the losses as well because I do like I said like for me I just can't stand the RNG the RNG can really be a ball breaker but yeah we'll check that out opponent found john good old john all right going up against john going second which is great and okay so it looks like we're gonna have to drop in sandshrew and they are playing dark a dark deck so i'm guessing wheezing's gonna be in there which actually could be a little bit of a problem super tanky great stool card and maybe arbok but uh We'll see what they're running. Yeah, there's Coffin. There it is. And that's great. <laughs> we are actually their weakness. So that definitely works in our favor. See what John's got in his pocket. Okay, so he's just pulled Ekans. I actually made a video on this deck. Um, I don't know if it's exactly the same deck that he's running. But this is a seriously strong deck. Um, almost any sort of Pokemon that you pull is going to be very strong and get work done for you. So Coffin can't hit too hard. So we are not going to evolve Sand Slash just yet. We're just going to, you know, be cheeky, get that 10 damage in. We will drop in Cubone though. And we're just going to do just 10 damage, you know, just a little bit of a chip. Or 30 even. Completely forgot about the weakness. But yeah, there we go. So as soon as we get Sand Slash, we are going to shred through this deck. And I think out of all of the matchups, I think fighting Pokemon seem to be the... Like, they seem to have the, be, like, the most effective against most, like, other matchups. Definitely seem to have the most, like, weaknesses against them. Okay, so we're poised. It's going to do like 40 damage to us. It's all good in the hood. Uh, 
So, yeah, we're, we're still going to roll with Sand Slash. Drop the Professor. Really, really could do with a potion. Oh, that's a shame. We can't use Giovanni because we use the Professor, but we will heal up Sand Slash. And while we're here as well, we're going to evolve up to Marowak as well. Making making a massive wombo combo. And then, so 90 odd damage. Just, oh, just that 10 short. That's a real shame. If we had Giovanni in hand, we could have done that. Okay, so, yeah, I'm just hoping he doesn't have Koga. Um, if you're running Weezing, you should always have Koga. Koga is insane. I used to really underrate him. So what Koga can do is basically just pull Weezing off off the off the uh, like active opponent spot and just goes back into your hand and it's almost like you're, you know, healing him for like a, you know, in this case like 100 HP. That is a crazy heal and it also stops us from getting that one point as well. So yeah, really really, really strong. Um surprisingly strong. But the I guess well we are going to use uh, Sand Slash, which kind of sucks. We will get that kill. Um, just trying to see what else can we do. Just trying to... Th nah, it's definitely not worth it. We need to take out Weezing. So Ekins is 100% going to take out Sand Slash. Nothing we can do about that. But then Marowak's going to step in. And this is, I think this is one of the, the positive things about the deck. It's just that... Everything is just low energy cost, literally two energy, two energy to do big boy damage. So that is one of the pros. But again, I just cannot stand the RNG. So we can actually one shot Arbok. And Arbok, I'd say, is another Pokemon that really surprised me. Um, again, low, low energy cost, 60 damage. Um, but it's that being able to lock someone in and they can't retreat can be really frustrating to play against. But I'm hoping Marowak's going to start popping off right now. Um, there's something that I've seen. I don't know if it's true or not. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments below. But I saw there's a thing that you can make sure you always land heads. And I'll be honest, I looked at it and I thought, that's just BS. I'm not even going to entertain it. But... Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. If you know otherwise, let me know in the comments below. There it is, guys. 160 damage. Japow. Arbok gone. Um, so yeah, this is what I used to face up a little. I think when I first started playing this game, Marowak was so, so popular. I was going against Marowak all the time, and people would just rip through my deck in like minutes. It's definitely is one of the fastest decks. Uh, to steamroll people, probably other than Pikachu EX. But um, yeah, I'm still, you know, let me you know what you guys think about Marowak. I'm still, I don't know, I just don't like that RNG element. But we get our first win, guys. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, we're going up against Pikachu Lover. I think that's what I read it as. Or Pikachu Leveler. Going second again, perfect. And we've got Cubone and Marowak in hand. This is probably the best starting hand that we can get straight up. Going up against the water deck. Oh, okay. So Starmie and Gyarados. Um, Starmie is incredibly strong. And I, I actually rate Starmie way more than I do um, Marowak. The only issue with... Okay, this guy looks like a beginner. Farfetch, Squirtle, Starmie, sorry, yes, um, and Magikarp. There's just too many different Pokemon going on. You want to sort of keep yourself to sort of two or three. Um, he's going to sort of struggle to level everyone out. Because basically, you know, for Squirtle, you need to get three evolutions and you're just sort of diluting your pool. It's going to be hard to sort of get what you need. So we've got 13 cards, I've got 11. So we've got a slight lead over us. Okay, 
Okay, so powering up Star Year. But here it is. We've got Marowak. And I'm just thinking, do we want to switch someone out? I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off with Sabrina for now. Okay, need to hope we get... See, guys, that's what I hate. That's what I can't stand. Zero damage. And we're an EX card. What is this? But, um, yeah, just... Oh. Okay. So hopefully next time we take out Magic Up. If we lose this game, I'm going to put it down to RNG. Okay, so he's spreading his energy across the board. Interesting. So we're going to start powering up our other Cubone. Going to drop that red card. He's got quite a few cards in hand. And what that's going to do is he's back up to 15 cards. Sorry, 12. And we're at 11. So we've actually overtaken now. Uh, being able to get through your cards faster than your opponent definitely gives you an advantage. So there it is, that 80 damage. So the faster you can get through your hand, it depends what deck you're playing, but in general, it means that you can pick up the cards that you need. You know, you're going to get the Pokemon in hand that we need so we can get the ball rolling. He's bringing in Farfetch. I've never understood Farfetch. So it's sort of like a duck with a leak in his mouth. <laughs> it does leak slap. Yeah, just even like, you know, I was probably like 14 when Pokemon Red and Blue came. And yeah, Farfetch, even back then, I used to always just think, why is this in the game? But uh, Farfetch, that is a pretty solid hit. Not going to lie. So we're going to drop in Sand Slash and we're going to start working on our Sand Slash now. So let's uh, get a potion. Let's heal ourselves up. But um, this is definitely one of the strengths of Marowak. So what happens is you start going through through their team again with the bad RNG. We start going through their team and basically we should be able to kill, say like War Turtle is what they're leaning on, Blastoise. We will take them out before they get enough energy for Blastoise to actually start doing some damage. So we're just hoping we can sort of speed through this. And there we go. There it is. Blastoise EX. 160 for that Hydro Bazooka. So um, I'm hoping this guy has Misty in hand. If you're running a water deck, you pretty much, it's a necessity to have Misty. She is a real, she's a beast. Um, she can do some real crazy stuff. There it is. Okay, so we're two, two and up, but I'm still a little bit sketchy. We've only got 80 HP. So Marowak's a little bit on the low side. Blastoise can actually one shot us. So oh, that's not a good thing. So yeah, we're going to lose Marowak. So it's going to be 2-2. Two, two. And it's just how do I deal with Blastoise? Because we don't actually have... It doesn't matter. This is in the bag. So... Obviously, yeah, Blastoise is a problem. We would struggle to beat Blastoise. But luckily, Sand Slash is maxed out. And here it is. Dropping Sabrina. Game over, man. Game over. So whoever he puts in front is getting slapped. Again, he's even got Horsey as well. So... Yeah, just too diverse. You you can't have too many Pokemon in hand because you will never get what you need. See you later, buddy. Game over, Pikachu lover. And we're going up against Chris Dot Swoosh. So Chris, again, second. So we are two for two right now. Um, I'm going up against Electric Deck. So we actually do have a slight advantage over Electric Pokemon as well. So, yeah, we definitely have a lot of good matchups in our favor. And this used to frustrate me. So, again, weakness against fighting. And when I used to play Pikachu EX, I was always running into Marowak and getting stomped. Ooh, now that is nasty. So, obviously, you can do 90 damage straight off the bat. 
that is going to be really, really difficult to deal with. We've got Sancho as well. And Cubone. Oh, I didn't growl. What's wrong with me? I guess it doesn't matter because he's not going to have the energy to do his ability anyway. Um, so variations of I've seen of this is Cubone and Primate. I thought it sucked. Um, Primate has 90 HP and you'll be surprised at how... And also he needs to actually have 10 less HP to start like doing some serious damage. And I just found that he hits hard, but he's too squishy. He was just getting dropped all the time. So, yeah, not a fan of... Oh, there it is. 160 damage. So I feel like this is pretty much game over. Um, he's really going to struggle now. It just comes down to that RNG. Um, obviously, I'd rather... I, I definitely prefer Pikachu EX. Way more consistent. And it's easier to sort of get Pokemon on your bench with, with the Professor and with the Pokeballs. But yeah, that, that was luck. That was really, really lucky. I mean, 90 damage and like consistent as well is really, really difficult to deal with. So we are going to drop Giovanni. Hopefully, if we can just do 80 damage, that should just be enough to get us the W. Ooh. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. It's so up and down. I guess it depends if you love the roller coaster of Marowak. Uh, but yeah, very, very RNG. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below of any variations you play with Marowak. And do you love the Marowak? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. So we're two for two. Hoping to be able to get three for two. Oh, it's 100 damage. So obviously down to 40. Okay. So even if we fully heal up with Marowak, it's not going to be enough. So there's no point there. And I don't, well, we can't drop Sabrina. I don't feel like it would have helped anyway. Um, you know, Electros is very, very tanky. So, yeah, let's go for it. Come on. Oh, again. Okay, so 80 damage. That's going to be 100. Okay, so it looks like we should win this really comfortably. They don't have a lot of options. They don't have the energy to sort of swap it out. What is the play, Chris? Okay, I mean, fair enough. Like, red card can be annoying, but we're in such a strong position, it's not going to make a difference. Oh, Zeb Striker. Okay, and he swapped it out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop Sabrina. And because of the matchup, even with Zeb Striker, we're still going to get the win. Sand Slash coming in, coming in hard. And that's it, guys. Again, three for three. I mean, if we can get five to five today, this is the deck that I'll be using for the next event that's coming up where um, you need to get five wins in a row to get a new emblem. Let's uh, let's send some love to Chris.Swoosh. Send him that friend request. Okay, three for three. And we're going up squiggly diggly. Um, I don't know. What, I don't even know what language that. I don't know if it's Korean or Japanese. Um, but if you guys know in the comments below, you know, if you can speak the language, let me know because I always love to know who I'm going up against. So this might be the one that we lose. Um, not a good starting hand at all. This can happen with any deck though. You know, you can always get a bad hand and sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. But we do have Sand Slash. And we're going to red card early on. So... Okay, so we've got a little bit of a lead as well. So obviously they're going to get that energy advantage against us. I've not played against uh, Arcane EX. It is, I don't know why, a lot of people do not play this deck. 
So it'll be interesting to sort of see the matchup. Ponita. I've got a feeling it's going to be a Blaine deck. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in Sand Slash just because a little bit more tanky and we honestly, we, we don't know what our next card's going to be. No Professor. It's going to be hard. Yeah, without the Professor, we're lagging just a little bit. Really need to pick up an evolution. Uh, it's very, very rare that this happens. Normally, we do get to evolve pretty quickly. Oh, and he's got Arcane, Arcane 9 pretty quickly. So it does 120 damage. Mm. Okay, so nice. So we did get Sand Slash. So we're going to go for the hill. We can actually take out Growlaf. Growlaf? Growlif. Just like that. So he's gone. And I think Sand Slash sits in that perfect spot. Like 6 70 damage is not crazy like Arcanine. However, it is enough to just pick off certain Pokemon. Uh, so Rapidash. He's definitely, he's got to be running a Blaine deck. If he's not, I'll be very surprised. I think Rapidash can do like 70 damage with Blaine. So there, there he is. There's good old Professor Oak. So another Sandshrew and another Professor. So we, we will drop that Sandshrew. We can put energy into Cubone. I just wish we had another potion. Okay, so that's Rapidash. Rapidash, Rapidash is running low. But um, yeah, by the time this guy's actually got energy into his Arcane 9, it might be game over. We'll see what happens. Oh my God, Sand Slash is popping off. Okay, yeah, straight with the Evolve Marowak. Okay, come in, Professor. Pick us up something nice. <laughs> okay, so we only really need the one Marowak. And there it is. Rapidash is down. So we are sitting really comfortably. And what fight are we in now? I've, I think this is number four, isn't it? Four, four for four. That's where, that's where it looks like it's heading for. Um, personally as well, like I feel like fire Pokemon need a lot of energy. So Moltres is almost like a necessity. Moltres is so good for just stacking energy on your bench. And when they can themselves as well. They can actually do some solid damage. So no point in healing up. But what we will do is just increase the damage that we do just to help us take out our canine, especially if he's got potions in the bank as well. In fact, yep, they should have potions in their deck as well. All right, so bye-bye Sand Slash. So we've got two turns to land one head. Oh, and I completely forgot as well. Our canine loves to hurt himself. It's a real shame. Like Arcane, um, our canine in uh TCG Live is like a seriously strong card. Way stronger uh than Pocket. Ah, uh, shout just because I do not want the RNG to go against my favor. We're gonna bring Sand Slash. But this is why I really like Sand Slash in the deck as well, because you can just swap it out and get the guaranteed win. But there we go, guys. Four for four. On to the next one. All right, guys. Can we get five for five against Little Gen? Psychic deck. So this could be a problem. I guarantee they're running Mewtwo. There it is. Oh, if oh, this could be really difficult. If only if we have Marowak, you know, we can one shot that Mewtwo. But yeah, difficult, difficult hand. So four for four. Can we get that fifth win? Let's find out, guys. And already they've got a little bit of a lead over us. Another Mewtwo. Uh, I absolutely love Mewtwo. Mewtwo is such a fun deck to play. Red card them. OK, 
Okay, so they've still got a lead error, so. And we don't want to push that um, new two back. There's no point because even if they had like energy on them, they were just sitting on the back line, start to power them up. And then when Mewtwo comes into play, he will just wreck the entire team. So yeah, we want him to stay out front because if we can kill him, then that means he's going to lose. This person's going to basically waste two to sort of, well, two to four energy. Oh, and still, this is a really bad starting hand. This is a real shame. Just seeing so 13 cards. So in that 13 cards, there should be two sand slashes, two Professor Oaks, and two Pokeballs. Spoke too soon. That sort of worked out. Oh. Talk about help a brother out. Little Gen user a boss. So obviously that is gonna be a big hit. Ooh. Not nice. So I'm hoping we get a Cubone. There we go. And, you know, we had pretty good odds uh, in our favor there. Two out of three chances of getting that. Going to evolve up to Sand Slash. Get Cubone ready for action. And just hoping we pick up a potion. Ah, oh, unlucky. Okay, so... Sand Slash is going to go down, but Mewtwo is going to drop. And to be fair, they are now in a sticky situation. Even if they take out Sand Slash, if Marowak comes into play, we have a pretty good chance of uh, taking out Mewtwo. It's a shame. If we'd got that heal, we, this would be a lot easier. So this is going to come down to RNG, basically. Um, it's not quite 50-50 because we're flipping two coins. But if we take out this Mewtwo, it is game over. There's no there's no recovery. Call the ambulance because this guy needs urgent medical care. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Sorry, little Jen. Just crushed your jeans. Crust crushed your dreams my god guys what's wrong with me all right and yeah this should be a very comfortable win for us it's gonna be really really hard for them to win now i guess what i like about sand slash and marowak as well is that both of them is their weakness is leaf um so if you go up against psychic it's not going to be any problems and Mewtwo is a really popular deck Okay, so I'm going to drop Cubone. Don't really need to. And let's use Sabrina. I mean, this is going to either waste some energy and we've got a very, very good chance of just getting that one shot. All right, five for five, guys. Here we go. Oh, oh there it is. Uh, yeah. Do you know what, guys? So five for five. Maybe I'll take it back. Maybe, you know, I was complaining about the RNG element, but Marowak, what a boss. We absolutely were balling all over these guys today. I can't believe it. Like an absolute steamroll. I am going to be able to get that emblem very, very quickly. I highly, I do highly recommend this deck, but it can be very frustrating as well. Can't believe we didn't even lose today. No losses. No loss, Machenko, but yeah, sick deck. Um, definitely, in my opinion, the best version of Marowak deck that I've ever played. But if anyone does have any like variations, like I've said before, drop in the comments below because I'd like to see them. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash or smash that subscribe, and I'll see you all in a Pokemon video soon. Peace.